Okay, I'm back. Mystery pills, we got a lever, and we got the abacus frame. Well, now the uh, jackass over there has to let us in. Ah, where did you find that? It, it looks like something from my store. Eh, very well, then, come on inside. Yes, come on inside so I can murder you. He did it. I, I swear to God, he did it. I, I officially do not like him. Well, go ahead. Ask whatever you like. Why are you such a douche nozzle? And actually, your name is Ted and you look like Ted Bundy. Oh dear God, you're a serial killer. Well, did Daniel ever come to you for any sort of medications? Like anti-asshole pills because you are a jerk and no wonder they kicked you out of the lodge? I'm a pharmacist. I sell quite a few medications every day. It's hard to keep track. I wouldn't be surprised if Daniel was self-medicating, though. He'd been on edge ever since a big argument with Rick. Almost like he knew what was coming. An argument? Was it about the rewiring work on the lodge? Bingo. Daniel insisted on going with the lowest bidder to save money, and Rick wasn't the lowest bidder, so he picked another contractor. He said the lodge was short on cash, which is true. Just ask our accountant, Mr. Cotter, to let you have a look at our ledger, and you'll know why. Who would date this guy? Why would you keep lemonade? Okay. Dad had a heart condition.
There it is. Splendid work, Miss Detective. Now I can get to work. Like, this guy's a little dickish too, I think, but at least he has, like, the excuse of old and crazy hair, so he's kind of funny. Like... You want to look at the most Lodge's accounting register? That's highly irregular, Doctor. You realize it's for a murder case and there's like 50,000 motives floating around we want to make sure they're all true? I'm afraid we need that financial information to look for clues regarding Daniel Lane's murder, Pearly. We could always just get the sheriff to ask the judge for a search warrant, Pearly. No, no, that won't be necessary. I'll show it to you later when I'm not quite so busy. He's got a singing bass, that's great. Oh, I think the lever goes here, actually. I couldn't help but overhear you from the secretary's desk. I think I have what you need back at home, so come by, and I'll show you. So Maddie works here as a secretary, does she? We should definitely see what she wants to show us. <laughs> he paused my game! <laughs> he really doesn't like computers. Yeah, he's like a Luddite. Too, which is, you'd think that annoy me, but he's just such a goofy character that I really don't care. that A. There it is. Hint, hint.
Oh, Jessica, something terrible has happened. Someone broke in while I was away. Are you all right, Maddie? We should look hmm. around and see if the burglar took anything. But Maddie, before I investigate, I'd like to ask you something personal. What is it that you need to know? It seems you and Ted are very close. Is there anything going on between you two? If there is, I'm questioning her taste in men. No, I mean, why would you think that? How dare you imply... What proof do you have? We forgot to do that and uh excuse me, I'm going to throw up. Where did you find that? Did you read them? Yes, and I vomited a little in my mouth. I happened to come across them by accident. How long have you and Ted been seeing each other? And why? I confess, Ted and I have been in a relationship since even before the divorce. He's always been a huge support, more than Daniel ever was. I suppose there's no hiding anything from you, is there? Go ahead and look around. Whoever broke in here went through all of Daniel's things, and they took the ledger with them. I was sure that a look through the numbers in there would make all doubts about the accounts of the Lodge clear. And the final results of the poll were in there, too. Well, we all know who'd be interested in that now, don't we? Hmm. Some time ago, Daniel told me that the password to the Lodge's safe is the same as the computer's password. Oh dear. Hopefully the burglar doesn't know this information and break into the Lodge as well. I'll take a note of this and investigate the Lodge in a bit.
Hmm. So now Rick has every right to be angry, and if we find the lot, the ledger, and that turns out eh, Vern was right. Ooh, this is going to be awkward and really bad. Which also means Ted lied to us because he, if I remember correctly, said... That Rick wasn't the lowest bidder, so... Why would Ted lie about that unless he was trying to cover his tracks? So something is really up. I'm just thinking through it. This is interesting, though. This case already has a lot of, like, twists and turns, and it's, like, only the second case, but it, again, I'm not sure if this, they're less or more, though. There are quite a few tools used for electrical wiring here. We know who has the easiest access to those. Rick. If any of the things here can be traced back to him, then he's going to have a lot of explaining to do. Ah, back again, are you? Rick, only an electrician would have the know-how to stage a murder to look like an electrical accident. I think you knew that Daniel passed you over, even though you actually were the lowest bidder on the contract, and you killed him in revenge! A little dramatic there, Seth. Do you have an alibi for the time Daniel was killed, Rick? I'm afraid I don't, Jessica, but this is nonsense. I can tell you that none of this stuff came from my shop. Well, that's a little hard to believe. We have some things we found at the crime scene that I believe we can trace back to you. Go on and try. to suspect that no, we don't have anything we can trace back to him. Though it was a bit over dramatic. And he was telling the truth.
All oh, right, we use the glove. Never mind. You know, I will die laughing if all of our suspects have a limp. And after this hidden object scene, we'll stop for now. So, our suspect is limping on their foot. Why did they kick the glass in? I have no idea. And keep in mind, that's just our burglary the suspect. It may not even be connected to the murders. Jessica, I didn't hear you come in. Can I help you? I just wanted to know, Vern. Why did you break into Daniel and Maddie's home? And why did you kick in the glass? Because that was royally stupid. I didn't break into anyone's home. Do you have any proof of that? Okay, I was there. I was in a hurry. I wanted to get in and out before Maddie came home, and I didn't even notice that I'd cut my leg until later. So you're the one who took the largest accounting ledger from Daniel's house? Yes, but only by accident. I thought I had the lodge's official record book, you know, where we note down the ballot counts from elections. I know it was stupid to take them, but I couldn't let go of the feeling that someone had tampered with the results. I had to find out if the election was rigged by Daniel, or someone else. Bum bum bum? If the sheriff hears of this, you might have to make a trip to his office. Oh boy. I don't think we should jump to conclusions. Byrne was only finding closure to the election's unexpected results. Before we do anything hasty, we should examine the ledger and see if there are any clues we can find. Oh, 
it was two were added and one was erased. Are we sure you want to trust this guy? So let's see. Okay. Two, three, four leaves. Okay. These add up to nine, so these are three apiece. So there are twelve when it comes to leaves. Okay. Now the leaves are twelve. So forty-one minus three is thirty-eight. Okay, divided by two. Oh, I'm doing math. Actually, you're going to see my math. 41 minus 3 equals 38. Divide by 2 equals 19. So each flower is 19. Well, there are only two, so... Each symbol. And what was my answer for the flowers? 19. So now we gotta figure out the mushrooms. Okay, this is 6, 23 total. So 6 minus 23, and we'll get the answer. 23 minus 6 equals 17. So the mushrooms are 17 apiece. I've told you, Doctor, I'm a busy man. Pearly, we know that you've been embezzling money from Moose Lodge. And after this, we'll stop. The numbers in this ledger prove it. Me? Embezzle from my friends? These claims are uncalled for. There is no way you could have the ledger. Show it to me, because I don't believe either of you. We'll show him next time. Later, guys.